regarding distribution per unit DPU for the current accounting period, as well as the following and subsequent periods, the DPU will be 2,800 yen for the 39th fiscal period ended May 2021. For the 40th and 41st fiscal periods, we anticipate DPU of 2,850 yen. Accordingly, we have achieved the midterm target DPU of 2,750 yen announced a year and a half ago, drastically ahead of schedule. This time we have announced our next vision as a representation of the form we hope to achieve with our Heiwa Real Estate REIT in the next era. In this next stage, we will secure the steady growth and sustainable profit we value, achieving this by improving investment unit liquidity. A slowdown in economic activity and the promotion of telecommuting as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic have been creating uncertainty in the real estate market. However, its impact on Hewa Real Estate REIT has been limited, and we have been able to achieve a clear future outlook. We still have large potential for internal growth based on contract revisions for rent increases. The environment for equity financing and external growth has significantly improved when compared with the level prior to the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have abundant free cash and a large amount of borrowing capacity based on low LTV. Internal reserves are also sufficient as a source for distribution. We have achieved inclusion in the global index, and our rating outlook has been improved to A positive. Achieving a double A rating is now in sight. We will take advantage of these conditions and increase our distributions and investor value. Based on the thinking detailed above, we have established four goals which we are carrying out initiatives to work towards in the next stage. 3,300 yen distributions, total assets of 300 billion yen, AA rating, and a 100% renewable energy conversion rate. I would like to share an overview of our financial results in the 39th fiscal period. This accounting period also included gain on sales, this time 404 million yen from the sale of the HF Takanawa residence. In the 38th fiscal period, we earned 890 million yen from the sale of the HF Umeda Residence Tower, so there is a difference there. This is a summary of the causes of variation of EPU on a leasing business revenue basis with gain on sales excluded. There are no major variable factors for our office properties. Occupancy rates for our residences have improved, leading to a 20 yen increase in performance. As a characteristic of the busy season, Renewal unit numbers have also grown favorably, with renewal fee performance increasing by 18 yen. Our purchase properties, Accra Shinkawa Building, Kabuto Cho, Uni Square, Tokyo Building in Sendai, and our two Fukuoka residence properties contributed a great deal to external growth. This is a summary of our forecast for future operating conditions. Increased public offering is expected to contribute to earnings from new properties. We anticipate our offices will maintain a high occupancy rate in the upper 98%, and our residence properties will achieve stable occupancy around 96%.